Hi friends, uh, in this small video we are going to be showing you the latest HCL ME U1 So this is the way the box looks like and uh, we have this thing hands on today so let's first have a look at the config that it comes along with as you can see it has got a 4.03 ice cream sandwich operating system Android Core Cortex 8 uh, high performance low high performance low power CPU as it says it is a 1 GHz Cortex uh, ARM processor it's got a 7 inch uh, capacitive screen 800 to 480 is the display it's got only one front camera 0 0.3 megapixel it's got 4 GB internal storage expandable up to 32 GB it's got a micro SD slot and uh, it's got 512 MB DDR3 RAM and IO ports it's got full USB port a mini USB port a micro SD card slot and it is enabled with a USB modem it says it's got a USB port so you can directly plug in a uh, EVDO or a 3G stick and you can start browsing it's got Wi-Fi uh, there's no Bluetooth absolutely the Wi-Fi is BGN so you can browse up to 150 Mbps it does not have a Google Android App Store it has got a HCL Me App Store only and the battery is around 3600 mAh so let's just start uh, having a look at this thing it comes bundled with a small little nice little keyboard come uh, stand thing so we'll review that later uh, after seeing the things that are there in this thing this is the tablet we'll keep it aside let's see what all comes in the box this is the adapter that comes along with the adapter is a standard uh, 5.0 volt and 2.0 uh, amps adapter as you can see it's specifically a Chinese import by HCL this is the way it connects and that uh, comes along with a small little user manual right it comes with cheap looking headphones earphones to be very precise do not look all that great do not have uh, but for the price given around 8500 to 9000 rupees in India it's a nice little buy comes along with a USB cable for connecting your uh, micro USB to your uh, laptop or a computer comes along with a small little cloth for cleaning the LCD display I forgot to show you this one thing this this comes bundled along with this uh, this is a small little keyboard uh, uh, come stand you can remove this thing and you can put your tablet here and basically this comes bundled uh, nowadays with almost all Chinese tablets so you can keep it like this and you can work on it it's got a USB port which connects to the USB port of your tablet and you can work on it like a normal tablet we'll connect it and show it to you later so first thing first we'll just have a look at how the tablet looks like Okay. so this is the first look that we have and uh, as you can see it has got a plastic body it is entirely white in color it's entirely white in color and uh, looks like a cheap Chinese import again uh, X1 the one that we reviewed earlier had an entirely metallic body and was uh, more sturdier and actually heavy so this one is a little lightweight but uh, HCL is compromised on the build quality here let's start looking at what ports it has got so as you can see this is the volume minus and plus button and uh, this is the power button this is the reset button so if uh, in case in scenario your HCLME doesn't boot up you just need to take a hairpin and just press it here and it will get booted up so tablet is this slim not really call it very slim but uh, good enough for the money that you pay and this is how it looks from the behind let's have a look at the right side there are absolutely no buttons no connectors on the right side whatsoever on the bottom the base again there are no connectors here neat little design maintained on the top although there are a lot of uh, these buttons and connectors IO ports that you can see the first one that you see over here is a memory card slot it's a micro SD card slot that you have then uh, you have the headphone uh, mic jack 
you can just put in your headphone and uh, listen to music this is the charging port this is the micro USB which you use to connect to your uh, laptop or desktop and this is the USB port you can directly connect a pen drive or a CDMA stick or a 3G stick and directly start browsing you can even connect a hub and uh, use it accordingly the speaker is here in the base and uh, this is what it shows let's power on this thing so uh, this one has got a ice cream sandwich uh, 4.0.3 so as you can see the interface is very much similar to any ice cream sandwich based tablet there's no major difference here you can unlock it if you right slide and you can touch is pretty smooth uh, the way it was in XL X1 I think there's some improvement uh, if you compare the touch of the two let's have a look at the apps that come along with it it still does not have a um, top up uh, interface on this thing so it will look a native ice cream sandwich based uh, tablet there's absolutely no difference in it yeah, they said it has got a 1 gigahertz arm cortex processor 512 mb ram 4 gb internal storage which is expandable up to 32 gb it's got a front vga camera that's 0.3 megapixel only and uh, there's no back camera here so if you know back camera is such um, the battery is around 3600 mAh will give you around uh, 4 to 5 hours of backup at the max on full usage of Wi-Fi and uh, movies uh, let's let's have a look at something here some video let's check out as the company says uh, we can we can play 1080p based videos here Let's have a look at one of the videos it plays. Crossing seems a little slow and uh, it's taking a little bit of a time uh, accessing the card. I'm going to show you a good high resolution video so we're just browsing through the videos that are there here. The touch seems to be very very responsive and uh, looks very neat actually. I think this is a video which you should look at. It plays flash, There's absolutely no issues whatsoever playing flash in it. Out of flash 11.0 is supported here. The audio is uh, not all that great to be very precise. I think because the speaker was uh, getting pressed on the back here. Video looks good actually. Uh, it's, uh, let's, let's play some other video maybe. Okay, great. We have a Taylor Swift video here, which is got real good high resolution. Beautiful. So now, as you can see, it's playing a 1080p video very clear crystal clear to be very precise the high point of this uh, entry level tablet that it still is launched the audio is good enough it is not all that great but uh, for the price given I think it is a good buy okay, let's 
let's have a look at some of the games if there are any installed. Have a look at some of the games that are there. Maybe uh, it's got uh, gyro sensor. It has got. Uh, you can play motion gaming in this. You can install a lot of applications uh, from the HCLME App Store. It does not have uh, Google Android App Store as I said earlier. As you can see, these are the applications that uh, are there. Let's have a look at what does the fun and game thing have. As you can see, we've got into the Slide Me eBooks. It does not have any hardware buttons whatsoever. All the buttons are on the screen itself as was the case in uh, HL X1 let's have a look at fun and games what are the kind of games it has got you can browse through the catalog there's around 6000 odd games that are there in this thing we don't have a motion sensing game in installed in it but uh, it does have motion sensing it has got G sensor in it so it should not be a problem playing uh, Let's have a look at multitasking capacity if there is any. Yep, it does have multi touch, it does have uh, multitasking as you can see. This is the applications that we've opened, and you can just close one of these, and maybe you can just open another one of these. So, just pressing on this thing, you'll have all the applications that are open and, and let's go have a look at the settings aspect so as you can see this is the way it looks it's got a ICS uh, data usage section where you can track all the data that you've been using sound settings and display storage let's have a look at the storage here for you so as I said it has got a total internal storage of around 4 GB so 2.45 GB is remaining as it says battery is 100% full it shows 30 minutes 26 uh, seconds in battery these are the applications that are running now have a look at the app section downloaded on sticker this is a relatively new one so we have not installed a lot of applications so once the things start filling in you'll come to know you can add your google account or facebook account and uh, you can sync them with their respective accounts uh, it does not have gps it does not have gps there is a downer for this tablet if it had gps at this price it would have been a real good buy actually uh, security settings it has got the screen lock it's got uh, It's got slide, pattern, pin and password. Does not have face detection which is there in ice cream sandwich. So language options. Backup and reset. You can just go to this section and you can just do a factory data reset. Accessibility. We don't want a screen reader right now, so we'll just cancel it. You can plug into a debugging mode for connecting it to your PC so that you can access the memory and the internal space that HCLME has got for you let's have a look at the tablet info this is the model number U1 4.0.3 is the android version kernel is 3.0.8 this is for you it's right now connected to the Wi-Fi So 
this is something that uh, we have here nice little home screen 3D widget that uh, itself gives along with it so when you click on this particular soft button you can have a 3D widget like thing which you can just choose maybe out of any of these you can choose looks cool looks great actually direct links to clear trip if you are planning a lot of trips here and then then this is the thing that you should have let's have a look at a flash video that uh, it plays inside the browser let's, let's have a look at it this is start playing a small video on youtube uh, to check its flash capacities and we just put up a thought trailer which will open up now and let's, let's see yeah, it's, it's, it's opening up, no issues in that. So it does play flash, for sure, as it's playing now. It's the HD content that is playing right now. So it's very much flash compatible. So you can be rest assured of playing a lot of videos in YouTube and flash enabled websites. The interface is very neat because it is ice cream sandwich it is basically controlling the YouTube videos it uh, nice little tabbed interface for the browser that comes inbuilt along with this thing the typing as you can see here is a little bit of a downer for this have been a little bit more responsive you have to press it a little hard so that's fine doesn't really hinder your work actually so this my friends is the HCL tablet U1 the HCL has recently launched and you want to kill the competition with the given price that they have 8500 is what they're positioning it at and uh, they're giving this little cute uh, add on to it so we just add a keyboard and we'll just we'll just add the USB to its USB port and we we'll put it up the stand as it is and we don't want to operate so Let's just start doing things and say you want to enter in gadget. This is a very cool accessory that comes along with uh, uh, this tablet because what really happens at times your uh, touch is not very comfortable and you want to actually be using it as a PC at your place so this comes in handy it's a full keyboard that comes along with it keys a little small so I'm <laughs> finding it a little difficult finding it a little difficult to start things up so as you can see the Engadget page has come up I can do a page up page down here using the keys so it does make sense you can just fold this thing and you can carry it around it's like a small diary 
Externally in the market this thing costs you around 1500 but HL is shipping this thing free with it so it's a real cool accessory that comes along with it. So my friends this is the HCL ME U1 I'll repeat the configuration it has got a ARM Cortex 1 GHz processor it has got 512 MB RAM 7 inch capacitive display 800 to 480 it's got full USB port, uh, the one that is connected to the keyboard. It has got a micro USB port which connects to your laptop. It's got a front VGA 0.3 megapixel camera, 4 GB storage totally, internal storage, and uh, it's got 32 GB uh, external micro SD storage capacity. And it has got no HDMI port, no Bluetooth, and no GPS. So. Thanks a lot for watching guys, do subscribe, give in your comments, uh, do let me know if you want to know more about this tablet, be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot for watching guys.